right, so yeah, I feel your pain. You tried to downgrade to iOS 13 from iOS 14 or like, I don't know what version you were on, but you're stuck in a boot loop. Now, I was trying to make a video showing you guys how to downgrade from iOS 14 to iOS 13, but I paused on that video because I realized that it's causing a lot of boot loops. So I don't want to cause more problems. I'm just here to solve those problems. So yes, guys, I'm gonna show you how to get yourself out of this boot loop, hopefully. And yeah, that's the whole theme of this video. So you'd need a PC, obviously. If you don't have a PC or a Mac or anything like that, you probably need to start getting your priorities straight because it's 2020, we're working from home. We need to have a PC or something. All right, next up, you need a genuine Apple cable or some sort of cable that recognizes your phone and doesn't say, hey, this is like, a, um, this accessory is not supported. You need a really good cable, plug it in, and then hop onto your PC. Now, you want to go to this website. It's called 3U Tools. And the reason I want to use this website is because it's really good in terms of showing us how to get into recovery mode and stuff like that. So go ahead and download it. I think I already have it installed as you can see. So you just want to save it as usual. Save, you know, and just run the program. You guys know how to download a program, right? If you don't know how to do that, I just, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> but yeah, let's open 3U Tools right here. and we're gonna go over to this page now here will show us how to go into different stuff right so you could choose the device you have if you have an ipod touch or ipad mini anything you have right just choose them for me it's an iphone 11 pro max and this is going to show us how to go into dfu mode so it could try to recover our iphone all right so I have the easy flash option that that well a lot of different options we could choose from all right but the one we're gonna do right now is the Pro Flash. So it says that we need to keep our device on. All right, make sure it's plugged in. Then you want to press the volume up button, volume down button, then hold the shutdown button until the screen goes black. All right. All right, so when the screen goes black, press and hold the power button and volume button for five seconds so we're gonna do that volume down button for five seconds and as you could see we're in dfu mode it was that simple all right now once we're in dfu mode now we're going to need to recover our device all right so we could flash it remove our firmware all that stuff but i think for now we need to go into iTunes so I want to restore I want to restore definitely so we're going to restore an update it's going to remove all your data and everything is going to be erased but this is the only way we could get out of this boot loop so that's why I always say guys make sure you back up your device before you try anything but the funny thing is even if you backed up on iOS 14 the storage and all your stuff on iOS 14 won't be available on iOS 13. So even if you're backed up on iOS 14, you can't recover that data because the latest public version of iOS 13 is on iOS 13. Like, you get what I'm saying? So if you backed up everything on iOS 14 and did not back up on iOS 13, when you restore an update, it's going to go on iOS 13, meaning that none of anything you backed up on iOS 14 won't be available on iOS 13. I don't know if that sounds crazy. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying, but yeah. We're just gonna go to restore and update. Sorry for blabbing, but yeah, that's all we have to do. Restore and update, agree. And it's downloading the software for us, so just hit done. So just have to wait until it downloads the software. So if you go up to here, you can see how long it will take. I have pretty fast internet, so it won't be that long but it says three minutes so i'm just gonna let it run and then i'll be back when everything has been downloaded all right guys so i was just playing with my ipad but as you can see it says we have well it's almost finished downloading it's now processing the file it took a roughly around three minutes for me because I have like 300 download 
Sometimes I don't get the full 300 download, but as you can see now, it's extracting the software, which is great news. So just make sure you have your iPhone plugged in at all times. And yeah, we're supposed to be good here. So I'm going to let this run through again, and then we'll be back onto the video. All right, guys, so as you can see, it just popped up saying my iPhone has been recovered to its factory setting, factory state. So, yes, this is the only way we could have got ourselves out of the boot loop. And, yeah, sad, sad Chevy in the house, y'all. Hopefully, you guys um, learn from this as well, just in case you wanted to upgrade or downgrade you realize that you might run into this issue so yeah <laughs> I'm gonna see what it looks like just to show you guys that everything is working now and I'm out of the boot loop so yeah let's just give it some time so here we go my handy dandy notebook so I'm just gonna sign up and everything just so you guys can see them get my mic in quick start after that manually choose your internet of course but basically this is the only way you guys can get out the boot loop guys like literally this is the only way you can get out of this boot loop you can't yeah like you just have to restore your device so let's just enter your iCloud stuff real quick all right let's continue setting up our iPhone to that later in settings don't use passcode I'm just trying to breeze through this real quick guys all right so as you can see this is what I was talking about guys these are all my backups all right you can see my latest backup was today but I can't go to that backup because it's on iOS 14 so my other backups are from like my iPad and stuff like that and my iPhone SE which was in May all right May 10th that's crazy so I guess we just have to work with that until we go back to iOS 14 I think the iCloud has just finished so we're going through one more stage and hopefully we could actually see our icons on our home screen for the first time in our own like two hours because I've been stuck here trying to figure out how to get out of this boot loop. All right, so we should now be good to go. Restore has been completed. Unlucky mate. Set up later. I'm going to do all of this. I don't want none of that. Don't use passcode. Oh, finally back on iOS we could see our home screen that's all I wanted to say I just wanted to see my apps y'all so sad no more iOS 14 I, I'm not sure if the Apple watch is still linked probably is who knows it's crazy out here man nope I don't want to do anything now boom what what OS is this let's see not now go to general about 13.5.1 love to see it but at least i still have all my apps I have all my apps still i want to see if i have all my pictures because i backed up some i think because i had icloud and everything guys it will be backed up because all my iclouds oh never mind <laughs> i think it's loading though but yeah, quick update before you go, guys. I still have all my images. They're loading right now. So yeah, thank God I still have my pictures. And that's the beauty of iCloud, I guess. In terms of messages, yeah, I still have some messages. Not everything, though. Because this is Wednesday. Oh, it's downloading my messages. Great. So I think once you have iCloud, most things will be there. I don't think I, I missed anything. But yeah. That's basically how you do it, guys. That's how you remove yourself from the boot loop. Hopefully, you guys found this video useful. Hopefully, it wasn't too long. But yeah, take care. As always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.